last episode of Hog Squad, we had the Catalina Island to go fish some halibut. Wendy said the weather was gonna be a certain way and it turned out to be a little bit rougher than we thought. And we took a little bit of a beating and some of those beaches have some pretty big rollers. And we ended up fishing some sketching conditions, but we managed to pull one legal halibut of the day, pull a few. Missed a few bites, but they weren't stacked up thick. Like one of my videos where they're just like going throughout that stacked up thick right now. We got some bite catch in the mix and we made for like a great episode and a great day on the water. I mean, what can we say? And we got the catch and cook coming in for you guys hot of halibut, how I like to cook it, what we do when we catch halibut, how we eat it, everything. And um, yeah, don't forget to go get yourself some halibut merch. You Pretty. Pretty good stuff right there, guys. Pretty good stuff right there. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the water. Peace. A little dude, yeah. Got some bite to him. What a color on that one. See the spots? Yeah. Found our first album of the day. Hopefully we found a stack of them. We got both hooks. 19. Nice. I know you were like missing. Alright guys. It's a 21 right here. Not legal but beautiful little halibut. These guys are picking up and going. Running back to the sand. Yeah. Oh! 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 What? He's doing a good high chain. Good fish? Right there, 
Slob. Yeah, Slob. first keeper of the day. All right, boys, there we go. Beautiful little halibut for you. Just doing some deans, doing some drifts, and yeah, first legal of the day. Big old calico. So when you're fishing these halibut, there's your number one bycatch. You know they're the right kind of bycatch calico because they're so light in color just from sitting by sand and stuff. Like they are very light in color, so we threw these guys and get ourselves some halibut. Ah, uh, something's on, boys. Tell me it's the right guy. Please. I gave up a little fight at first. I don't know. Heavy now. Looks pretty light. Oh. One guy. Yeah, okay. Lance on a good fish. Rip drag right away. It's coming up pretty easy. Huh? And shaking a little. Thinking shark. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it feels like a shark, dude. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There's our culprit. Need sharks. Mr. Leopard. On a live sardine. Right. Get him in the boat! Get him in the boat! catch and cook portion of this video so this is the halibut i caught earlier on in the day beautiful 24 inch halibut and we are going to slice him up and make him into some ceviche and i'll probably grill him too but let's get right into it so when you're flaying a halibut guys you start under here get yourself a nice round blade and then i like to work down right into there just like that And here comes a different part on a halibut than most fish. You see like their lateral line that goes up into there. It should be like right about there. You'll make an insert to it right here is what I'll do. And you want this to go directly down the middle as best as you can. I mean, you'll see it doesn't have to be like perfect right down in there Set your hand it does not have to be perfect guys i'll show you why in a second but number one thing to do is get that blade right down to the bone because halibut have four fillets on them they have these two right here that you'll slice out and they got two more in the back so, so basically guys you get that knife You'll work your way down. Make sure you hear that bone. And your next step is to get underneath as best as you can. 
and start carving those fillets out. All right, guys, so once you separate it, just work nice and slow, get that off. I messed up a little bit on the first one. I haven't filleted a halibut in a bit, but I'm trying to save as much meat as possible because halibut are meaty fish and they are delicious. So you're gonna get, actually I did a pretty good job. It's pretty much down to the bone, but you'll wanna do that. Get that nice slab of meat out. You get it as close as you possibly want. I do it pretty hard because I like to make sure I don't miss meat. That's my thing. I don't like wasting something I catch because I think that's just a gigantic waste. So I try my hardest never to miss. So yeah. So bam, look at that guys. Pretty much to the bone. And then what I'll do, then what I'll do is to get my knife right down in there. Make sure I'm not missing any meat. Work it up. I'll do that like that. And then I'll go back through the other way. And try to make sure you're not cutting into the other fillet. So angle that tip down. And sure enough, there it is. Nice halibut fillet right there. And then you're gonna do the same thing on this side. All right guys, so basically same as the last bit. Just work down. Knife tip down towards the bone. Don't be wasting your meat, kiddos. Alright guys, so basically everything I just did on that side, I'm going to be doing the same on this side because this is the other two fillets. So literally guys, it's exactly the same. You just do all, just do all the all over then, you'll cut down the middle and then do exactly as I just did. So yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, so for skinning the fish, I forgot to go over that earlier, the same as any other fish, grab the skin, knife down, and just get it all out of there, yeah. And you'll get yourself a nice filet, but the bam, halibut for dinner. All right, how's it going, you guys? Welcome to the cooking portion of this. Um, let's get straight into it. So basically, guys, what we have here is salt, obviously, and we got that garlic herb, the good stuff, the dash. And then we got our butter. And I, what I did was, I have lemon here, just to show you guys, but I did half a lemon into here. And what I'll do now is I'll pour the two together, mix them, like the recipe says, bam, bam. And just stir it up really quick, get a good mix. And so let's have a lemon. These lemons are for later. And now we get to seasoning. So we got our salt right here. Get that nice and salty. All right, guys. So basically, we're just gonna finish salting that off, as I was stating earlier, and we'll bam. Next, we move into garlic seasoning. Basically, guys, all we're gonna do is just get some good garlic in there because we all like garlic around here. But bam. And to the next portion, we're gonna get this butter, lemon butter, basically right on there, brush it on. 
You're gonna want a lot, I'm a, well, I like butter, so. You're gonna wanna make sure the halibut is nice and buttery. You can also use an actual brush, but I just didn't have one on me at the time, which is right now, so, <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, guys, now we're gonna be putting the halibut right on the grill. I got a little non-stick mat. And put it on five minutes, five minutes on each side. Should be good. And yeah, guys, smelling nice. And looking nice. Okay, now it's on there. Now it's on there, five minutes each side. All right, guys, now that's done. Getting off the grill. A little bit cooked it too long. The recipe kind of did me a little dirty, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. But we're making do. It looks good. Pallet it, so you cook it. We're going all on there. Ba bam. Oh. All right, guys, it's off the grill, looking delicious. So, drill it with some lemon, mount. And now we are hitting the taste test. Here we go. There it is. Good stuff. A few things that beat halibut, guys. That is, that is so good. Every time, it's just like amazingly good. Taste test number two. What do we think? Lemon. Yeah, guys. Quality stuff. I like a lot of lemon. That's just Put it in there. But, all right, guys. That goes for the catch and cook. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. We got a little sketchy conditions while fishing this fish, as you guys saw. But it was really fun. Ended up with a halibut. You know, halibut have lots of meat. Gave some away to my plant who was on the boat and gym. But, yeah, guys. It was a great trip. We made it work. When the conditions weren't happening and it was pretty rough the one spot we did get a couple halibut bites that was really sketch but we couldn't feel them at all it was like we come back our sardine was chewed but like it was just super rough a bunch of big rollers coming through but yeah that's halibut fishing so don't forget to buy the new halibut merch guys pretty sick stuff and yeah i'll catch you guys on the water peace